Sex offender is speaking out in a candid interview with WITN about what he was convicted of and what people may think of him. He is one of the more than 12,000 people we told you about last night required to register with the state as a sex offender. The state says the registry is to inform and protect the public so you know if sex offenders are living near you. I headed out with the Beaufort County Sheriff's Department as they check to make sure sex offenders live where they say they do. That's when I encountered the man you are about to meet. Good morning. Is Mr. Rambo in today? Uh, no, he isn't. They should be down at the courthouse. The person Sergeant Keith Owens of the Beaufort County Sheriff's Department is looking for is this man, 41-year-old Ernest Rambo. Owens is doing his monthly check of registered sex offenders to make sure they live where they say they do. And Rambo is one of them, convicted in Pennsylvania of statutory rape. I found him outside the Beaufort County Courthouse. This ain't gone on TV, is it? Sure. At first, he was reluctant to talk with me, but then he opened up. Can you tell me what happened? Person was 15. But like I said, I seen it, I left, I got accused of it, and I did my time. I, I, did, I did 16 years. Rambo moved to Washington two years ago and says he's just trying to get on with his life. You know, people may look at me like I'm a piece of But, you know, hey, it happened, it happened. Well, what do you think about that? I mean, you know, people do have a certain perception of people who've, um, who've been convicted of sex crimes. Yeah. Like I said, you know, I came down here. I've been down here two years. I got a nice, steady job. I work full time. What do you do? Hmm? I'm chief engineer. For what? A hotel. Does that put you around kids? No, sir. Registered sex offenders are not allowed to work where a minor is present, and their responsibility or activities would include instruction, supervision, or care of minors. While that may not be an issue for Rambo, I discovered he has a stack of other legal problems, including DUI charges, lying to a police officer, driving with a revoked license, and failing to register as a sex offender when he moved here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the nicest person on earth. You know, some people might, might listen to your story and say, okay, you know, you served your time and, and people should let you get on with your life, but then here just a few months ago, then you've got, you know... Uh, driving while impaired, yeah. you've got fictitious information to an officer, yes, right. all of those sort of things. So some people may say, N you're not such a nice guy. Right. Yeah, hey, everybody has opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't stop somebody, look, you know, giving an opinion of, of me. If, if, if a person can't accept me who I am when they meet me, hey, I don't need them. As for failing to register as a sex offender, he calls it a mix-up but one that could land him back behind bars. I'm not trying to hide from nobody, but, you know, hey, it happened. Rambo has a court date later this month on the failure to register charge. We'll be following the case and let you know what happens. For the most part, people on the list remain there for life. Some can petition to have their names removed after 10 years.